Bailey, if you watch the Mel and Five K DIYs video, she was also there too. So make sure to go check that video yeah. out. It's right there. But yeah. yeah, in this um, in this video, we are going to be doing a lizard video, basically. I know you kind of are probably sitting there thinking, what are they talking about? But if you didn't know, we <laughs> we like to um catch lizards. And we like to play with them and do a bunch of stuff with them. We like to feed them, give them water. And we're also going to like tell you a few facts about them that we know. And so let's just get straight into it. This is a Cape Dwarf Gecko or Common Dwarf Gecko. They are the same thing. And they are very small, like a dwarf, hence the name Dwarf Gecko. And these guys are completely harmless to catch. They do drop their tails, although they will regrow, and they you shouldn't press on them because they're very delicate, but they are completely safe to handle, and they never bite, they only lick. These little guys live in southern Africa. If you don't know, that's where we are currently living, so we see these guys a lot. And they don't have any eyelids, but they are capable of licking their eyeballs to, like, rehydrate them, I guess. And these guys have, like, orange tails when they're younger or before they've dropped their tails. But then if they regrow it or they just get older, we're not really sure, then it's not as orange. But they have very distinctive markings and coloration. They have lots of dots and two stripes running from both eyes all the way down their body. And they also have sticky pads on the bottoms of their feet, like lots of geckos, which help them climb on lots of surfaces. Although on plastic, for some reason, they have a lot of trouble, but on anything else, they can even go upside down and still hang on. So these guys are pretty cool. And they eat lots of ants, mosquitoes, fruit flies, and we're not 100% sure about this, but we also think that they eat kinds of worms, like mealworms and small crickets. We're not sure of that, but we think. Also, if you are taking care of a gecko or you have caught one and it is constantly opening its mouth or leaving it open and not closing it, that probably means that they're hot. This one is very small. Not the smallest we've ever caught, but still really small. This one is named Ruby, and if you can see, she is shedding. We're not 100% sure that it's actually a girl, but we just call some of them girls and some of them boys. But I just wanted to show you that they do shed their skin because it doesn't like grow with them. So once they get big enough, their skin will come off. This is Minnie, the tiniest gecko that we have ever caught. And yes, we do name most of the geckos that we do catch. And as you can see, this one is very small. So we just really wanted to include it because it's really cute. This right here is Hero, a baby African striped skink. They do get significantly bigger than this. And like I said, he is just a little one. 
And these skinks eat snails, spiders, ants, all types of different things. Now, here is Flash. He is a bit older and a bit bigger African striped skink. They still do get bigger than this, but here I am holding him. Now, these lizards have very sharp claws. It's funny because when I was holding onto Flash, he would like grip onto my hand and I couldn't really put him back down in the box because he would just be grabbing onto my hand. So that was pretty tough. But another funny thing that I have realized is that they have like a clear membrane over their eyes that they can do when they close their eyes. So it's just something that I thought I should include. So right here is a Southern Tree Agama. It is a little baby that was pretty rare actually. It's not as rare as some other things, but it is like, it's not something that you see all the time. And now this one, like this species of lizard can get very big. They can get so much bigger. And I'll pop in a picture here of what they look like. And you may have seen in the picture that it has a bright blue head. That's because the males, when they get older to attract the females, they have a big bright blue head. It's very beautiful. And the females, they're just plain, but when they're babies, the blue isn't as, I don't know, visible. There still is a light tint, but it's just not as easy to see. So, this species of lizard has incredibly sharp claws, a lot like the African striped skink, but they might even have sharper claws. It's just pretty crazy. But when they are adults, they eat butterflies, which is something kind of funny. Ooh. Um, but yeah, we've noticed that sometimes when they come down, then you can see that um, they eat the butterflies, and we're not really sure what the babies eat, but that's what we know about them.